This is my very short and secret declaration of my candidacy for President of the United States under the Republican Party. So let's uh, start with some basics. Okay, so if you can read that, it says, uh, my name's Carl Peter Clapper. The Republican Party, which I remember. And I am a citizen of the state of New York. Okay, and this is not that element. Okay. Got that jotted down. Next point is a black one. Okay, so. So the first thing is the platform is abolish slavery, and the first part of that is to prohibit prisoner labor. That's the labor that's permitted under the exception clause of the 13th, 13th Amendment. So we're going to take all actions that we can at the federal level, exert some pressure on the states to uh, eliminate the use of prisoners for labor uh, under the um, the exception doesn't need to be the rule, so we just want to do what we can to end it there. Uh, we're also going to add work visas. Okay. Again, um, I'm running this as a platform. Uh, anybody that wants to take that up uh, is welcome to it.
and and then the thirteenth to remove a exception. And the uh, third two is to memorialize that in the Constitution so that we have a 13th Amendment that does not, that does not have an exception clause. Then we'll also get rid of all of the preconditions that enable the uh, slavery to exist through these various means. And so to do that, we establish an unconditional establish a unconditional provision of the necessities and to put some uh, flesh on that we're going to suggest that that be 1500 dollars per week each incident of seven plus years. That's uh, 365 weeks. And I can get into detail about how that's uh, derived as a uniform rule of naturalization. So it starts with uh, $40 for the infant, uh, for the new immigrant, and another $4 for each week, up to the 365th week, after which it's set at $1,500 per week uh, for each resident of seven years or more. Okay, that's probably not for uh, that particular page. Now, uh, the way that things are usually expressed in the counter something like the, uh, what I proposed, uh, as far as the additional provision of necessities, is the phrase, how are you going to pay for it? Well, that's a fundamental misunderstanding of how fiscal economics works. So what happens is that the government, the federal government in this case, pays a certain money, amount of money out. It creates it by spending it, and then it's returned back to the government in terms of the various revenue uh, streams, uh, most particularly with the income tax, uh, the payable tax. 
So uh, my suggestion actually is to, is to um, follow uh, Milton Friedman uh, approach, which was the uh, uh, the NIT the negative income tax. No filing of any income tax, the uh, subsidy or the provision of necessities would be part of the payroll. So that would be uh, beyond the payroll system, even though they might not actually have uh, a job that would have uh, uh, payroll going to them to supplement what's uh, going in with the provision of the necessities. And then what additional is going in in terms of uh, wages, payroll tax, just a flat payroll tax, we go back in that. So how does this work? Well, people get their money, through the provision, they spend it, this generates economic activity, which generates the wages, which then brings money back in. So the same dollar is going to person that is receiving it, John Q. Citizen, Mary F. Citizen, and then they are spending it on something, and then that is being spent uh, by the uh, employer on the various workers that are providing the goods and services that John or Mary are purchasing, and then out of that amount that is being spent to them, regular old income tax as it stands, no change to the rates or anything is needed. Uh, though a flat tax actually works nicely in this scenario, but if you leave it however you want to leave it. And the money will come back uh, to the government in part, and as it's going out again in each cycle, the percentage is coming back from all the stuff that generated from the first generation, the second generation, and so on. So that all comes back to uh, the uh, federal government. So there is an asymptotic uh, increase in, in the money supply from this mechanism. So it, it is um, uh, stimulative, it has inflationary stimulus, but it tails off and uh, it comes up to a, uh, a flat amount. I can go through the mathematics and involves a geometric series uh, and it converges. Uh, approaches but never reaches its asymptote. Okay, now. Um, Another aspect that plays into this in my platform is what I call the way out. And I've written this book. So you get a good shot of that and get it on Amazon. Uh, it's uh, inexpensive. It's uh, seven bucks. 
and you probably have a discount if you have some sort of Amazon discount. Uh, it explains how we also handle, in, in a similar manner to how I described with the provision of the necessities and the money coming back in, uh, how we deal with the federal debt, how we eliminate it, in fact, how we keep government open, uh, and uh, how we uh, restart the economy through that means, uh, if we have not already, uh, by virtue of a provision of the necessities. Number two, one that's uh, particularly important for New York is to abolish the mortgage because the mortgage is the main reason why real estate is so fine. So uh, abolish the mortgage. We can do that on all future contracts. We can uh, gradually convert people over uh, from having mortgages to having uh, proportional equity uh, uh, instruments that uh, allow the mortgage payments so called to come down, consequent with the decrease in the price of real estate. So that people are not paying for the real estate that is so high as it's being reduced. Uh, this was a proposal I set out back in uh, uh, so this is, uh, Back in 2008. So we convert those who had established a uh, judicial bank in the United States to adjudicate all of the existing mortgages into proportional equity transfer agreements while simultaneously prohibiting the use of the mortgage loan for any future real estate. That will bring down the price of real estate, bring down the price of the rents as well. I should note that the that the mortgage is uh, effectively a Ponzi scheme, it's a leveraging instrument. Uh, so by eliminating the mortgage, we cut out that that leveraging scheme. And a similar thing. And that's health insurance. Abolish health insurance. And instead, what we have is we establish. And then these municipal That's also 2000. 
eight, 2009, 2009. Uh, I presented that to Howard Dean when my daughter was going to school up in Vermont, um, and he was quite enthusiastic about it, but he had his own strategy uh, about how to eventually get there. I'm laying out here, we just we abolished the, the health insurance, that all of the medical payments come crashing down, and we established municipal medical departments which would be funded uh, by the federal government, by run by each uh, municipality uh, as a branch of a federal uh, uh, health department, which is uh, works under health and human services. Uh, so that would be uh, a case where all of the medical personnel would be on a federal service uh, salary and um, and a, uh, a scheme that is uh, similar to medical workers within the VA, within um, uh, the various services and so on. Uh, so this will be a top-notch standard that will be applied uh, to having these municipal, municipal medical departments, and they will also do the teaching. So there will be medical schools, there will be diagnostic labs. And the research also would be uh, done in this distributed manner. Again, through a system that is uh, funded by the federal government, but is distributed in, in its application uh, down to the municipal level. We're up to five now. Uh, this involves uh, a long standing proposal that I've had uh, to have a system that separately uh, qualifies students, uh, certifies them uh, for their various uh, diplomas and degrees. So there's uh, And that also certifies that uh, students for employment as well. So this again, we worked into a federal system of uh, employment that is standardized uh, with a merit-based system of passing a certain course exams, achieving certain diplomas and degrees. Uh, Again, through these course exams, they don't need to be all written. They can be in the lab. They can be oral examinations. They can be a variety of, of methods. But the point is to have a standard uh, uh, system of certification that's not tied to the school. So, uh, okay. So.
schools are separate. The whole point of the schools is to teach students. We shouldn't be grading them. Separate programs should be determining whether they have uh, passed muster, whether they know the material uh, that they have either learned at school or on their own. And then the funding for the schools, again, a similar sort of thing. It is currently a Ponzi scheme arrangement, so we eliminate Stafford. Cutting Pell Grant students. And that ratchets down the uh, high price of schooling uh, in the colleges uh, that we have because of this uh, Stafford loan. So the Stafford loan is again the same sort of problem with mortgage loans, same sort of, of uh, problem with the pseudo loan that we have uh, with uh, health insurance. Uh, it's a Ponzi scheme, and we need to cut it out and we need to, to ratchet everything down so that the uh, prices become affordable for people. And also with regards to the mortgage loan, as I said, we're cutting down uh, the cost of housing or the price of housing more properly. Well that's a that's about a good start as as any uh, with regards to um, to a presidential program, certainly for a domestic program. Uh, I tend to be much more of a, a trade uh, person in terms of setting up uh, systems of trade uh, that will replace and obviate uh, military actions. And uh, so I tend to focus more, to focus more on that uh, for the foreign policy. So uh, this gives you a good idea of what uh, a, a Clapper administration, and this is very much a typical Republican type of administration. Uh, the intent here is to give people more freedom, cut down their costs, uh, allow them to live their lives in peace, and, uh, 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 and to not try to dictate to anybody how they should proceed in their lives. Uh, again, um, if you take a look at the way out, that's one way that uh, I get some money coming in so that I can continue to work on some of my policies uh, uh, going forward. Uh, whether you would want to see me actually running the show or not, uh, this is an attempt here to get some of these policy ideas into the public forum so that people are actually discussing them and discussing them seriously. Thank you.